In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI chatbot using BotPress. So this is basically a BotPress chatbot tutorial. So now let's get started. So first you want to sign up for an account for BotPress. So after signing up for an account, so you'll be redirected to this homepage or this is the dashboard of BotPress. Now to start creating a bot, let's just click here on create bot. Now that the chatbot has been created, just click here on open in studio. Now we will be redirected to studio.botpress.cloud where you can uh, customize your chatbot. So from here you can select a template. So there is this start from scratch, chat GPT clone, telco customer support, or learn botpress. You can also select Salesforce example or phone sales agent. So if you want to make something like ChatGPT, you can simply select ChatGPT clone. But now I'm going to teach you how to create a chatbot from scratch. So let's uh, click on start from scratch. Now click on use template and wait for it to create your uh, bot. Now it will look something like this. Now you will see something like this. So what you want to do is just scroll because it's so small, we can see it. Now you'll see this start and end section. So what we're going to do today is make the bot or ask the bot how many persons are going on a trip. And this bot will recommend uh, different kinds of activities uh, based on how they will respond. So first, let's remove this autonomous node. And let's just put it right here, just center it. Now let's create a new node. So just click, uh, right click right here anywhere and select standard node. Now it should look like this. So let's say the first node for our chatbot is the greetings. Now let's add a card, select text. Now click on text right here and you'll see the message to send right here, in the top right. Now let's type in here what we want our bot to greet the uh, person who has uh, used our bot. So let's say, hello. Welcome to your personalized recommendation service. So let's like that. Now let's skip over and proceed to the next node. So just click on add card right here. And from here, let us select from here in the flow logic section, let's select expression and make sure that the label is always. So the bot press AI will take care of that. So you don't have to do anything yourself. Next is we will add a node that asks the user a question. So I can right click and click on standard node. Let's put it right here. Now let's rename this as capture. Uh, information and now let's add a card and from here in the card just simply scroll down and go to the capture information section and select number now questions to ask the user so you can see it right here so let's ask how many people are participating in this trip Let's just do it like that. Now we will store this result in a new variable. So let's click right here. Now let's create 
a new variable. Just name it num people. Like that. As you can see, we have created a new variable called num people. Now let's connect the nodes. Let's connect this node. So just drag and drop it like, like that. And there you have it. Now we want to add uh, three expression cards right here. Just because we don't want the bot to say the same thing all over again when the user uh, answers the question. Let's just add three expression cards. But we won't be labeling it as always. So we're going to label this as user input is a number between 1 and 5. Now let's hit enter. So as you can see, the chat bot uh, or bot press AI has created the condition right there. Now let's do the same thing to the say a second expression card, but it's now 6 to 20. Hit enter. Go to the third card. And we're going to say number higher than 21. Hit enter. Now we have three different flow cards that will lead our users to three different recommendations. Now we're going to create three uh, different nodes again. So uh, let's say this node is for this number of people, this node is for this number of people, and this node is for a number higher than 20. So let's say the answer for 1 to 5 is hiking. Second one is swimming. And third one is a picnic. Say it like that. Now, again, we want to add a card, click on text. Let's just click on text right here. Also right here. Oops. There. Now you want to add the uh, chatbot's answer right here. Now, that uh, it still depends on you on what you want to ch the chatbot to send or reply to the user. So just configure the message right there. And the next thing that you want to do is simply connect the nodes. So this node uh, is for this, that, this node is for there, and this node is for there. Now let's just put the end node right here, and let's connect all of the nodes. Now that we have connected all of the nodes, then your simple chatbot is now ready to go. So now what we want to do is create the end conversation message. So let's click on conversation and right here on the left hand side. You can see always. Now let's just simply add a card right here in handler. Again, text card. And let's just say thank you for using our service, something like that. Now we're going to also add an expression card right here to make sure that the conversation always ends properly. Now let's just uh, connect the nodes right there. And we're all set. Now we want to test our bot. So let's click on test your bot right here. You can see uh, this is the emulator bottom right. Let's just start as new user. Again, I'm going to test my bot. As you can see, I said, hi, hello, welcome to your personal recommendation service. How many people are participating in this trip? I'm going to say, uh, 
15. And you should see the message. So I'm just going to go back to my main. So I haven't added a text right here. So let's say I'm just going to put blah, blah, blah. Let's test it again. And as you can see, the chatbot AI replied with the text I have put right here. So that's basically how you can create your chatbot using BotPress. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.